Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. It is Whip It Wednesday, so if you want to see what I'm working on right now, please stay tuned. So I've decided to add a new weekly video to my channel. It's going to be kind of an update video and a video preview so that you can see what's going to be coming up soon on my channel. I'm going to call it Whip It Wednesday and Whip, W-I-P, stands for Works in Progress. So today you will get to see what I'm working on right now, my current Works in Progress. The first thing that I did to get ready for this segment is I found a planner and this planner it says monthly 2017 and so I decided you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and use it I have one for 2018 but I'm not sure where it is so as I was looking through it I realized that January of last year January of 2017 it started on a Sunday just like April of 2018 so I went ahead and I just marked out January and wrote April here in marker and you can see all of my um, little color pencils. I have several categories of things that I need to deal with every day like design and create, cut a project so each day I'm going to cut a little bit of fabric. There's some stitching I need to do and then I, um, I have a place for communicate so um, making sure that I'm answering YouTube questions and making sure that I'm active on my Facebook group, making sure that um, I'm updating my blog, which hasn't been updated since 2016. So um, as I look through the planner each day, I'm gonna try to remember um, what I'm supposed to be focusing on for that day. Today, um, I need to complete my Whip It Wednesday video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. These are some current projects that I'm working on right now and you will see videos on them. Some of them, like this first one, you've already seen several videos about it, but I'm still on the last step. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. This is the graduation quilt. It is actually all quilted, and I'm working on the binding right now. I've only bound um, up to this point, so I'm still on the first side. I've already, I've sewn the binding on, I just have to um, go back and finish it by hand. So I'll be doing that. Um, and there is one more video because there's a little bit of quilting that I haven't shown on here yet. And I want to show that on my next video. That's why it's folded up so nice and neat and pretty. So this is the first one, it's that graduation quilt. Over there. So another thing that I have been working on, if you, um, I guess a few months ago I did a um, a stash video with some fabric that I purchased in Jamaica. So what I've done is this pretty fabric, these squares. I've cut these into 10 inches and then I decided that I wanted to finish them up with some denim. And um, so I have, this was denim that was left over from um, another project that I already had in my stash. So it's also cut into 10 inch squares. I'm going to be making Drunkard's Path blocks out of this so that I can have a Drunkard's Quilt, quilt Drunkard's Quilt, Drunkard's Path quilt um, to remember the uh, trip that I had to Jamaica. Um, that is interesting. I had no alcohol while I was in Jamaica. so. Um, but I have a circle cutter that I want to show as I prepare this quilt. So this is another thing. It's kind of on the back burner right now, but it's definitely something I'm excited about. I just need a little bit more time to get going on it. The, my next project, other than this graduation quilt, is I, per, I not purchased, I made some Dresden plates. Um, probably 2016 was when I finished them. Um, there are 12 of these and what I decided to do is um, to make a larger quilt but I really don't want to make any more dress and plate blocks unless I absolutely have to. Uh, what I've decided to do is set them on point and, um, and then that will make the quilt bigger. So here is one of the blocks that I've made on point. Look at that. So big. Um, and it still needs to be cut down 
but um, there's a really easy technique that I found from another quilter for making these, um, turning these blocks on point before I put them in the quilt. So I'm going to be um, pressing fabric and cutting squares so that I can um, make these. But this is going to be my next big project. Um, I'm really excited about it because these are scrap dressing and plates and I really, I already had some fabric in my stash um, and so I'm ready to finish this quilt. It's been sitting um, in a shoebox for long enough. Um, so these are my three main projects. Again, that's kind of a preview of some videos that are going to be coming up soon. So I hope that you will um, follow my channel. Please subscribe. Um, and if you want to go over to the Purple Quilt Facebook group, you can post some pictures of your own works in progress for Whip It Wednesday. And I can't wait to see what you're working on. Uh, please thumbs up this video and I look forward to seeing you next week on my channel. Bye!